One of the biggest benefits to meeting in a Microsoft Teams room is seamless access to all of the tools and experiences that simplify participation and help keep people engaged in the meeting. One of the tools used most often in a meeting is sharing content. The easiest way to share content when in a Teams room is no different than when you're sharing content from your desktop or mobile device at home. You simply present the content into the Teams meeting and you'll see it appear on the front of room display. No cords or cables needed. You can use basic screen or app sharing to share exactly what's on your personal screen or use PowerPoint Live to share a presentation in a way that empowers anyone to take control, annotate, view different slides privately, and render audio and video beautifully on any Teams client. You can use your personal device to cast to a Teams room. Casting doesn't require a Teams meeting to share content, so it's a great tool for ad hoc scenarios where you just want to show what's on your screen on a larger display. One of the most common devices found in conference rooms around the world is the good old whiteboard. When someone jots down topics for the meeting or makes a quick sketch, the remote audience is left out. Content cameras are an easy and affordable upgrade to any meeting room that uses our AI-powered intelligent capture feature to make whiteboard content readable to everyone. The best collaborative whiteboarding experience is on a Surface Hub. Using the coordinated meetings feature, you can deploy a Teams room and Surface Hub in a single space. No matter how you choose to join, both solutions will be brought into the same meeting simultaneously. Audio and video can be run from the Teams room, with the Surface Hub joining auto-muted to mitigate conflicting audio issues. With this configuration, you have a powerful collaboration solution where you can access personal files, ideate and brainstorm together in real time while benefiting from the additional display for viewing content in the room. You can also access Microsoft Whiteboard through a companion device. By joining the meeting on a personal device, you can share the whiteboard and actively participate in the brainstorming session. Because the whiteboard is being shared into the Teams meeting, it will be shown on the front of room screen as content. And finally, Teams Room supports touch-enabled displays for the front of room, 